it defines relationships. It defines if you love somebody, you will do anything and everything you love.
we're back. We are back. I can't tell you how tired I am. Well, I just come back from home. When I'm back home, basically, if you get it, you get it. I went to see my mom and my sister. And I also had to go pick up a few things. So you've literally seen like everything that I've just dragged in here. Like I was kind of literally moving out. So I grabbed everything that I thought I needed because I realized for the past few months that I've been here, the things that I wish I did have that I didn't have here. And you know how you say absence makes the heart grow fonder? That's me and my and my things. Like I have to have essential things here. I didn't have like all of them. Starting with my books in specific. Like my books here are like they're already piled up. These are more than 20 books, but the problem is literally almost more than half of them are like the motivational books kind of thing and i'm just like that's kind of killing my vibe for reading i want to go back to fiction i want to go back to you know romance i want to go back to mystery and all of that like i have not been in my reading you know vibe for a very long time because of that so i got some books that i left back home that i thought i didn't know that i didn't need but now actually i saw how much i needed them so i, I brought those back i bought um uh, what else did i get back i bought things that i thought were essential to me so everything that you saw there was very essential so i'm just gonna unpack as well as this i just kind of want to say it here i don't know if you guys have seen this watch i don't think you have it's a bit brand new so i've kind of been into getting back into like watches for some reason like i really feel like they're timeless pieces like no matter how old they are they can never let you down right no matter how small no matter how vintage like a watch is a watch like you can do so much with it right so i found like almost four watches back home and i was so excited about them so i'm gonna show you that as well and yeah i'm just gonna I'm just gonna get into the vibes <sighs> I want to turn back, but at the same time, I'm so tired. This whole weekend, I feel like I've just slept. I've slept, but I've chilled. Like, it's been it's been a relaxing weekend, but I can't lie to you. I need one more day. I need one more day. Two two days a weekend is not enough. It's not enough. You can't tell me two days. What is it? Three nights. One, two, three. Three nights, two days. That doesn't make sense to me. I need one more day. A day. I'll be content with that. Just one day. Is that too much to ask? I don't think it is. On the way, I got myself, like, some fries. There you go. I got myself some fries that I ate on the way, so I think that's gonna be my dinner for today. And some orange and kombucha. I love kombucha so much. Like, I feel like it's such an underrated drink. The same way matcha is very underrated. Kombucha and matcha? Mm -mm. You guys know what you're missing out on. Let me see what I'm gonna be up to because I know I have work to do and it's going to 8. So maybe I'll start unpacking around 8 10 because it's like 7 50 right now. Just wanna chill, take like maybe a 20 minute nap. The yeah. If you hear me sounding funny, I may have taken a nap. Yeah, no shame. As I was packing like my things from home, I decided that I'm gonna bring a few bags that I've had for a very long time and I wanted to like kind of clear out my wardrobe, like clear out things that I don't need. Actually, these are bags that I have had for a very long time. Some of them, initially, I was selling them, right? I was selling them and then at some point, I was just like, I like these bags too much. I might keep a few of them. So I did actually keep a few of them. But the ones that I did not keep, I brought them back so that like I could sell them and give them to you and whoever feels like they need a very cute bag to go out with to go on vacation with to go anywhere with really and truly i recommend because i was looking at these bags and i was like why can't i keep them for myself like they're all so cute like i'm not even guessing i would not buy or purchase anything or sell anything that i would not personally get does that make sense i have a few bags and i'm like i'm just gonna like kind of show you a few of them and if you feel like you want one like you know just comment down below or like message me on instagram my instagram is in the description so just message me if you want any of the bags um it's definitely a first come first serve basis but anyways i want to show you the bags that i brought so i'm just going to do that now <music>
I brought were all my books that I left. I think I've already mentioned this. Like, there's so many books that I had left back home. And I think it kind of stopped me from reading because the books that I have here are, like, more, you know, like, personal growth, financial, education, all of that. And, like, I think it kind of got me out of my reading phase because I enjoy reading, like, fiction, romance, all of that because it allows me to like kind of just get out of my head and like be in someone else's head and just you know like does that make sense like i i want to enjoy a book i don't want to just always be learning like <sighs> a few of the books that i brought back like i've already read them but there's a high possibility that i may read them again somewhere later in the year the first one that i loved so much was cleopatra and frankenstein this was such a shocking book like it was such an emotional roller coaster and how it ended i felt happy for the both of them but I could have cried. I could have cried for the both of them. So I really like this book. I think even by the title of the book, like it should have made sense. But anyways, it was, re it was really that good. Next one was um, Half of Ayla Sun by Chimamanda. This as well, like it gives you like a backstory of like the night, like I think it's Nigerian's independence. It gives you a backstory of how things went of Nigeria's independence and just the trials and tribulations and like the challenges that they faced as a country to gain their independence. So it's not it's not too like it's not too political like i would give this to anybody to read at first i wasn't sure to the point where once i finished it i had to get like her other book which i didn't know we even had to be honest i just wanted it at home and i was so i was excited that I, that we had another or one of her books another one is um purple hibiscus i actually haven't started this so i'm going to start this as well i'm not sure what it's about but very excited about it this book first off like can can you see the quality can you see that these are the kind of books that you usually see like in old libraries like in rich people houses like you know you know what i mean like those old vintage libraries um it's called the woman in white i think i got this for 70 bob from a supermarket it was like 70 to 100 bob and this was such a deal it's kind of slow but it's very suspense it's it's a very suspenseful suspenseful i'll recommend this to anybody who, who if you find it to be honest with you i'm not yet done i don't even know what page i'm on oh i'm halfway through the book are you serious oh i didn't know i read this far Ooh, another book like i feel like the thing about my books is that there's such a, di a diversity of stories being told that i just kind of fall into it even though in as much as like i i've mentioned this before like i jump from one book to another i feel like i'm living so many different lives so this one was um the red of my blood i had a very different agenda when i picked this book when i saw the title but then reading it yo long story short like it's, i think it's about a book about how um a lady is getting over the death of her sister who was basically her best friend and just everything that she has to go through like she literally gives you the backstory it's a i think it's a, it's a real it's a true life story actually she gives you the backstory of how she recovered from her sister's death i cannot imagine losing anybody that i love but it's such a beautiful and at the same time such a sad story I'm not yet done, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna have to get back into this. This one I'm like even more than halfway done. I don't know what is wrong with me sometimes. When breath becomes when breath becomes air. If you know, you already know this is a book about how I don't even know how I'm gonna explain this book right now, but basically let me just say the book is beautiful. It's a it's a link between I think life. Wait, let me just read this really quickly. ah okay basically it's about a book of how this surgeon tries to understand the meaningfulness of life while at the same time being a surgeon like does that make sense i don't even know how to explain it's like listen i think i've always said like in my in in, in this life i'm gonna write a book so that at least i leave i leave a legacy i leave some things like when i go i've left something in this world so this is this is kind of one of them another one is apples never fall Leanne Moriarty. In fact, Leanne Moriarty is Moriarty. Leanne actually is, um, Leanne actually, Leanne's first book, I think, was The Husband's Secret, is the first book that actually got me into reading. I'll always say Leanne kind of has a tendency of, like, really picking you up in the, in the beginning, and then, like, in the middle, like, she's kind of, she's kind of, like, taking you slow, like, I can't lie, she drags it a bit, to the point where you really feel like you just want to 
you want to dip you like you want to stop reading the book but like if you just give it time you will love it and then like how she ends her book miss ma'am i don't know what to tell you but you're doing us injustice how do you end like that like it's just so bah, it's just so in your face like yo you don't even have time to reconsider you don't even have time to like think about it like it's just what some things that you never have expected to have happened happened another like vintage loki find was uh taking chances it's, a, it's an old book like but this was such a beautiful book oh my god i felt like i was living i was living with her like i felt like i was the lady in this book oh such a beautiful story like like this book defines a love for me it defines relationships for me it defines if you love somebody you would do anything and everything for them i'm pretty sure it can happen i'm pretty sure that there are people in this world who will love you to the to their dying end like literally would do anything for you so this book so good oh. i kind of brought these books back because they give me so much hope and memory and i think they're the books that i enjoyed the most in 2023 in fact i I think i want to do a review of the books that i enjoyed reading in 2023 but yeah i just kind of brought them with me so i can just get back into my whole reading phase tomorrow's monday so i want to prepare for that i'm gonna put some stuff away and then chill for a bit and sleep and get ready for tomorrow i hope you enjoyed this video it was a really like kind of short form video nothing much nothing too exciting just a kind of chill video and i will see you in the next one I really wish I had like a three day weekend or like a four day weekend. Like that would be so nice. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. That would be so nice. But by the time that Kenya actually implements four day weeks, <laughs> I think I'll be retired by that point.